Hello crafters. This is Raquel with paints and glitter. I'm going to do a little housekeeping here and this video will actually officially begin in about 10 minutes or so. I'm going to give myself a couple of minutes here to finish cutting some papers. So if you join me on replay, I thank you for being here and I thank you also to new subscribers who have joined this channel recently. I'm just doing a little housekeeping here so that you can see my craft area and I think that should be good enough. Um, I sure hope so. Um, and my connection is kind of uh, in and out sometimes sadly but I'm going to try to see if I can show my entire desk here so you can see what I'm working with and get my lighting and all that stuff in good order. There's no one here yet. I did announce this for 12.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and it's not yet that time so hopefully that'll give me a few minutes here to continue doing some fussy cutting um, which if you've ever done then you know it is time consuming but very well worth it when you're working with projects or I'm sorry, uh, products that you love. So that's what I'm doing right now. If you're watching this on replay, this is a file from Chevy Art Boutique. I have fallen in love with her product because of course it has the shabby chic elements that I love to work with and the quality of her images is superb. Uh, I highly recommend them. I recently made a project where I did a step-by-step -step tutorial series, in fact, using her papers, and that tutorial series is on my channel. If you're interested in watching it, it will teach you how to make a mini album step-by-step -step using Tonic Studios dies. However, you can um, substitute with any die that has a similar shape. So if you're interested in learning how to make a mini album, and you want to get some ideas or just refresh um, your ideas on different page styles, then I invite you to watch those videos. Um, it is a series of, I think, five, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so I walk you through all of my tips and tricks and recommendations, just everything. So in very in detail, that's how I like to do my tutorials so that um, if you have any questions, I try to anticipate them and answer them as I craft um, because of the, um, I guess the little things that we all run into as crafters. And um, as someone who's been crafting for well over, goodness, 30, yeah, 20, 20 some odd years then, I think I have a little bit to impart um, and I like to share it. So that's why I'm here. Don't have anyone here yet. So what I'm going to recommend is if you are watching this later, please skip. You may want to look at the description bar of this video to see when you should start the actual tutorial or process uh, if you're interested in that. My live videos are can be sped up or slowed down. However you need to watch them is up to you. But please, um, if you have any questions, of course, I'm happy to answer them if I don't answer them in the description bar. I also invite you to use my links. This paper, by the way, if you've never seen Chevy Art Boutique papers, they are by um, subscription. So you can get her newsletter, subscribe to her channel, and all of that good stuff. And she is also on Instagram, by the way, if you're not um, aware. So what you do is you subscribe, and it's a monthly kit. And in that monthly kit, you're going to get all sorts of papers, regardless of your crafting style, whether you make mini albums, cards, um, home decor pieces, it doesn't matter what it is, you're going to have an option. The, of course, uh, requirement is that you print these at home. So if you don't have a home printer, that is of no consequence. You can use a USB drive 
Most computer owners have a flash drive, and if not, you can buy them on Amazon quite cheap or even at your local pharmacy. You download those files, take them to your local uh, printing shop or um, places like uh, UPS and that sort of thing. They will print it out for you, and you can also bring your own papers if need be. And then she also recommends printing um, specs. If you're, if you're unfamiliar with how to set up a printer at home to print out digital files, she even helps you out with that on her newsletter, which I think is wonderful. Um, it's certainly useful. So there's just some universal uh, truths about printing at home and how to achieve the best results when it comes to digital printing. And all of this rambling is just to let you know that you too can craft just like this. <laughs> oh gosh. Um, I am right now fussy cutting flowers. And I realize you cannot see that. So let me zoom out even more. Hopefully you can see. There we go. I think that's a better view. So I've just been cutting papers as I speak, and that's why I probably sounded like a robot there for a good 10 minutes. Um, and I'm just going to continue on because, as I said before, this video was not yet set to, um, to start. I'm just here a little early. I love roses, and this collection has a bunch of gorgeous roses um, that you can use. It has such beautiful, beautiful images, including a little hedgehog. So if you like hedgehogs, you may want to get your hands on this before it goes out of print because uh, the collections are only available for a limited time. I don't know if I mentioned that before. So it's up to you whether you want to get your hands on it. They're extremely inexpensive in my personal opinion because, as um, you probably know, digital files can be printed as many times as you like. So you pay a purchase price for the images, but you're not limited to only one-time use. And that's why I think um, it's a good investment. Not only that, but you can definitely manipulate these images on your own computer, whatever program you have that is um, a program that will allow you to adjust colors or group images, anything like that, edit images, then you can group them as you like. You don't have to print them only as you see them here. So that, of course, is something that you need to, um, uh, if you don't know how to do it, I'm sorry that I'm not going to be providing that type of tutorial. That's just something that takes practice, I think. Um, and every computer is different, so that's why, um, you know, that's something that's very unique to each user and all of that good stuff. Hello, Eileen. Oh, thank you, sweetie. I'm over here rambling, talking to myself. <laughs> uh, I did. I announced this video for 12:30, so I was just saying about digital files and things like that, things that people might not know yet, and all that good stuff. But what I'm doing is just fussy cutting to the best of my ability in a really. <laughs> as fast as humanly possible. Hi, Linda. Oh, wonderful. Yes, I have my, um, I actually have my, my sugar-free soft drink over here to the side, so I'm gonna need to take a sip in a minute. Um, but I am going to be making just a very small project here. This is called the 3D, I say envelope, even though I get picked on. I say envelope, you may say say envelope <laughs> um what's it called 3d envelope flower card by carrie ann english she um is a 
beautiful crafter who oh i do hope you feel better eileen take a lot of zinc that's what i told um um oh my gosh now i'm blanking kitty 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 why i'm thinking kitty but that's not her name <laughs> it's my problem with instagram handles oh louisa oh my gosh why did i blank um so I, anyway i told her take whenever you get a cold take massive amounts of zinc um you know with within measure of course <laughs> and it'll kick it out of your system um and uh yeah and plenty of fluids of course but anyway okay so let me show you i'm so proud of myself i just cut all that paper oh never mind no no i'm not <laughs> more flowers um actually you know what let me get started with just what i have here oh if you take a multivitamin they usually have zinc in them as well so you know i just say like pop a couple of multivitamins uh you don't really like you know well depending on your stomach you don't want to od on the stuff either you know what i'm saying but generally speaking you just you you pee out what you don't need <laughs> and i hate to say that but it's the truth the truth okay so see what i cut so far as I was rambling here by myself, I, I managed to cut all of these pieces of paper. Um, and let me show you how this file comes. I'm such a mom. I'm sorry. I'm, I, you're so used to telling people what to do. <laughs> it comes naturally. Uh, okay, so here's the file. But I'm going to clarify something in case you're watching me on your 4K TV at home. And this is as big as a wall. This image is not as clear as the image is supposed to be because, um, and this is something I wanted to explain, depending on your computer program that you are using, for some reason, it may throw off the color of digital files a little bit or a lot. In my case, when I download these files onto my computer and it opens the file in God knows what, I don't even know the program, it washes it out, okay? And this is the result that I get. However, I'll still use that. Then if I use the correct program, I get, and let me show you the difference, I get the true color, the color it was intended to be, okay? So you see the difference there? So once you get it on the correct program, and that's gonna differ depending on what computer you use. Are you a Mac user, PC user, whatever? Um, you just want to get a program that um, opens picture files and select the best printing options that you can for yourself, depending on the printer that you have, or if you take it to a commercial place where they're going to print things out for you, then make sure that you're using good quality paper and you're going to be good to go. Okay, so again, washed out. This is what it really looks like. So this is what I'm going to be playing with today. And... This is what I was just cutting out. So as I was sitting here or standing here, I should say rambling by myself, I went ahead and started cutting out all of these little elements, okay? And that's what you see here, all right? Now, this is not the only thing that you receive when you shop uh, for these papers. You may have seen my series of the mini album that I made, Baby Girl mini album. Um, and I quickly wanna say hello to Eileen, to Linda, to Carrie to let's see here the paper diva uh who is beverly so thank you so much guys for being here um i truly appreciate your support so i wanted to show you the the these are only some of the papers because my printer takes forever and a day to print so these are five by seven format it already comes like that so you don't have to tinker with it but look at how gorgeous these are so if you're into shabby chic and I only printed the pink ones, by the way, because there's a lot of other um, options. There's tons of options, okay? Um, so these, I love this though, because I love the basic, um, you know, um, polka dot or gingham, um, the, uh, the plaids. I love that kind of... Um, background gosh I couldn't word wouldn't come to me and then of course florals anything with roses so these were my first sampling that I printed out um hi Ines wonderful yeah so if you like this sort of sort of style and I think a lot of us do you know it's just kind of something feminine and basic 
um, or I shouldn't say basic, but just basic femininity, then you're really going to love her designs because this is just the tip of the iceberg, okay? And, um, and this is wonderful to make uh, journals, cards, mini albums, um, home decor pieces I mentioned earlier, any, any of that stuff. So today's is just a little um, extra bonus project that she always includes for free with all of her files. Now, um, I haven't used, uh, I think I have four or five sitting on my computer that I haven't even used yet. But today I decided this was one that I did want to play with because those little hedgehogs are just so stinking cute. Look at those. So I'm going to try to zoom in on that. Um, I know this is, um, this is called a shabby art boutique. But again, it's like anything else. These, the, the great thing about these digital papers is that they don't expire. They don't go bad. <laughs> And they don't take room on your shelf either. So um, there's a, a convenience factor to be being able to print them out at your leisure whenever you need them. And that's just my take on it, okay? In, in other words, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm going to start cutting into this, which if you have a digital cutting machine, as I do, and don't ask me how many, but I do. You can upload this into your program and have the machine cut it out for you. But one thing that I've noticed is when I do a print and cut, first of all, depending on the machine, say you have a Cricut machine, it'll reduce the size of your project because it only has a certain amount of room for print and cut features on an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper meaning that it's not going to print true to size. And for me, that's a drawback. I, I like to be able to print it out as large as I want to on my eight and a half by 11 piece of paper or larger, because I do have a wide format printer. So I technically could print this out even bigger. But having said that, I prefer to just print it out and cut it out myself. And uh, yes, you can do a pick scan and all that good stuff, but I haven't even gone that far. If you have a brother scan and cut, then you know what to do. Um, Y'all get my, my drift, I think. So for me, uh, cutting paper, I mean, I've been doing this since I was five years old. I really don't think there's such a big deal about it. Um, this is just back to basics kind of crafting. And if you do crafting like me to get your mind off of other things such as physical pain or just general pains of other types, <laughs> then this can be a lot of fun and very healthy. <laughs> and guys, please pardon my sense of humor, but that's just me. It's who I am and I don't think it's ever going to change. So, um... I also, uh, if I get to it, I want to share some happy mail that I just got. Some of, um, you know, you guys probably know this, that having crafty friends is just such a blessing because um, we get inspired by one another and all that good stuff. Um, but I have to say that whenever, you know... Whenever I'm feeling down or anything like that, I, I, and I feel like this is a God thing, um, someone just will randomly contact me or, you know, things like that. And um, I'll get surprises in the mail, whether it be a little card or a little package. And it always brightens my day. I mean, it's, it's so wonderful. So I just appreciate it. I really do. All right. So I'm cutting the little envelope, as you can tell here, out of the background. Um, so if you have any questions about this file, let me know. It is only available for a limited time. I think I mentioned that before, but I don't think all of you were here when I said that. All right, I'm going to go back to my knife here. This has a little tab and it's going to become very self-explanatory as I start making this, but it's a 3D envelope. So that's the gist of it, you know? And if you have an envelope punch board, 
and you just want to print out, for instance, this paper and make this same kind of project, but just a different color paper, you can do that. You can make yourself a template using this very file because you can print this out on, say, um, 110 pound cardstock, and then instead of cutting it out, and I just cut that crooked, but whatever, instead of cutting it out, um, glue it onto a piece of thin chipboard, okay, and then that can be your template, and I hope that I'm making sense, because I cannot walk and chew gum at the same time, but um, I can try to cut this out. All right, be patient with me, ladies, because I should have used my guillotine for this, and I'm over here trying to direct a, a knife blade. Come on now, here we go. All right. Okay, so all oh, that just to cut this <laughs> little tab out. <laughs> uh, I swear it's not as complicated as I make it look. It really isn't. Okay, there's that. She's almost done. She's almost there. So let's see who else. Uh, yes, absolutely. Just the, you know, being thought of. It's very, very kind. Um, okay, now maybe I'll get a straight line out of all of this. Because this is where I should have started anyway. Okay, so there's that. Um, set that back in my drawer so I don't lose it. Whoo, guys, I was up at 5.30 this morning just hustling. Just, you know, I didn't even have coffee and I was already down here. I was like, what is wrong with me? Okay, so for this, you also need your own little scoreboard if you have one. If not, you can make use of any tools that you have to score uh, anything pointy. Just be sure not to rip the paper, but I'm just going to follow the same little lines that are already in that. They're printed, of course, and it it's even labeled tab. So, I mean, there's no science to this. It even tells you where to put your adhesive. So she makes it super easy. So here I'm just going to try to line this up. And I think, wait, I'm cross-eyed. <laughs> Not really, but sometimes I feel like I am. <laughs> sometimes you feel like a nut. All right, here we go. And I think I got this one. Okay, all right. Good to go with that. So then you follow the little score lines and fold them, of course. Um, and this is essentially it, but you also get the little, um, the little lining here. And I'm not sure why it doesn't include the tip there. Let me take a look at something. Be right back. Okay. And that would be because that doesn't go there. <laughs> I'm like looking at it going, what did I do wrong? This goes here. So I just had to take a peek at the file. So you can do double-sided printing or you can trace this. So let's give that a try. And let's use, let's use the polka dotted, polka dot, polka dot circus. All right, so let's just do this. Old school guys, I'm gonna trace it. And be smart about it and use my cutter here. Hello, Monica. Um, the subscription is not new to me, but um, this is uh, the, the same um, company, if you will, same product that I use when I made the mini album and uh, 3D house box. <laughs> It's just, these are the, the papers of this month. So every month you're going to get a new collection if you subscribe. I haven't even um, 
I haven't even gone as far as printing uh, all of the papers from the last, I don't know, four or five months or maybe not that long. I don't know. I think I started the subscription back in April. I, I can't recall, to be honest. Um, and it had been sitting there and I finally printed out some of the papers and was like, what is wrong with me? These are so gorgeous. I should have been using them all along. Okay, so hopefully this is going to now fit in here. And I'm just going to cut off a little peeling, as we say in Spanish. Uh, a little piece there. Okay, so there's this is going to be my liner, okay? Yes, her subscription is one of the best I've seen in a long time because, and not to say that others are not good, but the reason I say it is because of the quantity of papers that you get. Holy heck. And as a person who's made digital designs, I know how long it takes to make things. Oh, it's so time consuming. So I think it's super cool. All right. Um, let's start by making this shabby, of course, and how do I go about it? Um, I start throwing ink at the papers, of course, with, I'm going to start with this one. It's called Almond Cream, and I'm just grabbing my little dauber. I just happened to grab the right one. That's so cool when that happens. <laughs> so this is a hybrid ink from Nuvo. Um, it has kind of that tea stained look, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. I guess the bottom didn't need it, but whatever. Um, it's gonna give it that little aged appearance, um, just like me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, okay, so then on the outside of this, it just so happens that this little frame there is the same color as this ink also so that I think that's kind of cool and let's go around the edges and there's just something about inking the edges of paper that I think really brings out the um, cuteness of it I don't know why but I love clean and simple but I also like to um, fiddle with anything that has to do with painting or coloring. It's just, mm, that's my jam. I love it. Okay, so continue on those little edges. And now there's a bit of yellow in this ink. If you're not familiar with um, this type of ink in particular from, from Nuvo, it's a hybrid ink, meaning that you can uh, use it for different types of techniques. Uh, whether it be you want to emboss or um, or just stamp out a clear image. Okay, I think that's sufficient. There, oh, and then one more piece here. Yes, the roses are gorgeous. Um, they have that watercolor look, but they are also um, a nice intense color. So very, very pretty. I don't, well, maybe I could ink around a couple of these only. Just a tiny bit. No need to make them dark or anything, but. If you know how to fussy cut well enough, you don't need to bother with it, but I did leave a, just the slightest bit of white edge. And some people just like the white edge. So, you know, you cut them as you see fit. Um, let's see, I have two more flowers here, and of course I have more that I can choose from. And then there's this gorgeous little bow. Oh my gosh, it's so stinking cute. All right, so, in case you thought I was done, no, I'm not. <laughs> um, I'm going to grab just this little dauber here, and... I'm gonna get a tiny bit messy, not not incredibly so, but just a tiny bit. What I'm going to do is that, uh, oh, 
flip my ink upside down to begin with. I'm going to use some shabby white embossing enamel from Stampendous, also known, known as Frontage. I'm going to just touch my paper here and there randomly with this Versamark ink. That's why I'm using the dauber. And I'm just going to just mess it up a little bit here with... And of course, this ink is clear. All right, guys. And I keep flipping it upside down because I'm genius material. Okay. I'm just going to move that aside a second and grab my stuff embossing powder here. And wherever I, um, wherever I touch the paper with that ink, I'm going to get a tiny bit of this. And of course it's going to be random, but that's exactly what I want. And a little bit more over here. And now there's a opaque white, shiny um, gold texture. There's a bit of everything in that, which is why, why I like it. And it's also very shabby. So now I'm just going to dry it. And pardon the noise that you're going to hear. show you the result of this of course as soon as it shows up here and it's dry So it's very subtle because I didn't use a whole lot of it, but it added a bit of gold and a tiny bit of white also. And of course, I could have used a whole lot more of that ink. I think my, my ink pad actually needs to be refilled a bit. But here you see the best result of that uh, right on the edge there. So it adds a bit of glimmer there. And I hope you guys could see that. Please let me know if you, if you couldn't because... Um, I can't readily tell sometimes. Okay, so I'm just going to wipe off. Whenever you do embossing powder or glitter, you know, you probably already know this. It's going to get everywhere. Um, so I'm just going to scoop off as much as I can here. Um, okay, here we go. Just because I want the grittiness to be off my table. All right, you can get this product, by the way, the Stampendous at scrapbook.com if you're interested. And yes, I do have links. So please, 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 if you're going to shop, it won't cost you any more to use them. And they are in the description bar of all of my videos. Um, so I'm just going to add the adhesive here now. So it's going to be on the one tab for the envelope. And then on the little tab that will go on the inside... Okay, so this is going to sit in here, and this is what's going to hold all of the little items that we'll put inside the envelope, okay? But first, let's put the background in. Thank you. I just think these are so adorable. All right, so I'm just using liquid glue here and I'm just going to add this on the inside. I'm going to try to match the top there as well as I can because I didn't cut it completely straight. <laughs> what else is new? All right, so now 
I can have my edges meet here like that and I hope you guys can see what I'm doing but I'm just that little tab is just gonna meet the edge here it's super simple but that creates that little 3d effect now if this little tab being white on the inside bothers you then put it on first and then slide in the background and that's of course if you haven't printed it as a double-sided um, uh, printout you know because you can select to to make it double-sided and that's up to you um, I'm just gonna leave it as is because this is my first go around and I'm not too troubled by that this is what makes it look like an actual envelope on the front like that and okay so there's that so that's where you see the benefit of having added that darker ink uh, and of course I could go even darker than that but there's that and now this little guy will nestle inside and the tabs the little tabs will just adhere to the outside here but of course you know inside of the envelope so you just pick wherever you want I don't want it to be seen from the front so I'm just gonna kind of slide it down a bit and I know you won't be able to see this part but I'm gonna put my glue on either side and it's just going to take a minute to hold it, but I'm going to slide it in, kind of pinching it toward the front a little bit so that it, the glue doesn't get all over the place. And I'll show you guys in just a minute. And of course, if you would just want to cut little strips of paper like this to, uh, to add more, you can do that. You don't have to only do one. So we'll see how this one works out. And if I need another one, I'll just cut some more um, out of the paper that I already have. But I don't know if you guys can see that. Hi, Mari. Welcome, welcome, sweetie. Yeah, cutting straight is overrated. <laughs> but in there is the little tab. I don't know if you I can't tell the angle of this camera at all, guys. So I apologize. But it's in there, I promise. Um... So now it's a matter of adding the flowers here and there. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to use my hot glue just to start building what's going to be showing here as you peek into this. And this is, of course, going to all be contingent on how many papers did you print how many flowers did you print out? Um, all that good stuff. Now, another thing. All right, here we go. You want to make sure you flatten it and that you get enough surface area on that little tab. Um, you can glue some onto the background, of course. So what I like to do, just to give it a little more zhuzh, Oh, thank you. And I'm sorry, I do have a delay on my phone. So if I sound like I'm way behind the conversation, <laughs> it's not on purpose. All right, so what I'm doing here is on this paper, I'm just burnishing the very edge. Okay, just the edge. And it's going to give it a domed effect. All right, because you don't have to leave everything flat. All right, and then I'm going to go to town with my hot glue. I had to add another stick here. But I'm going to be generous with this. And it might seem crazy, but that glue is going to, of course, settle. I kind of blow on it a little bit, too. And then... Once I add that, it's going to give me that bit of lift, but the edges will still be domed, if that makes any sense. Okay, 
So I'm going to continue doing that with the rest of them. And of course, you can use what you have to give these shimmer, whatever you want. Um, I'm going to zoom in a little bit, guys, so you guys can see what I'm actually doing here. Um, there, I think that's a little bit better. Got to go this way, I think. All right. So you can also use foam pads. They have them, uh, gosh, everywhere, right? I like to get these at the dollar store because they're a good size, so you can definitely do that and just fill in the background of that shape, you know, double it up, whatever you want to do. So I just like the dimension of it, I guess. That's my point. So because even though this is going to fold flat, you can still add just some, you know, a millimeter's worth of dimension. It's not going to hurt anything. Okay, so you can curl those out. I think I want this one up here. Thank you so much. I lost my, oh, here it is. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to keep adding. More is more. Just like that. And because these are um, the same color, then I'll just add that little peach one there in the middle. And of course, I'm going to supplement with all those little green bits. But I could keep going um, because I still have so many, uh, well, four, four more flowers at least on that. And then I have the little um, buds, which I think I want to use in the front. But you can start placing them around however you wish, kind of like the way that looks. And I'm going to add another foam pad. Whenever I'm crafting, I tend to do 10 things at once, guys, so I hope it's not confusing. Um, Mari, to answer that, do as you wish, sweetheart. We don't make enough money on those ads to make it even worthwhile. <laughs> so for me, I think if the ad is appropriate for what you like to watch, then watch it. Um... I mean, I just saw, uh, what was it, Fanta ad the other day that had me laughing hysterically. I'm not going to lie, I made my day. I thought it was so funny. But if the ad is inappropriate, like so many that pop up that I've seen, then by all means, skip it, skip it, skip it, I say. <laughs> um, I have monetization on my videos, but no one gets rich off of that, so I really... it doesn't mean a thing to me, to be honest. Um, okay, so I'm finding little ways to tuck in the rest of these. Yeah, we don't make anything off of that. YouTube does, but I don't know. To me, they're all going to hell in a handbasket anyway, so that's my opinion. <laughs> And I'm not shy about it, <laughs> as you can tell. <laughs> okay, so I added another little foam piece here. I think I'm going to add... Ooh, I don't want to cover up that bow because I think it's so darling. Um, no. I'm going to add the little flower or the rose down here. Tentatively. And then the leaves... So you can score the leaves, of course, as well, with a stylus, just to give it some shape. Okay, I like that. So, woohoo! See the, the uh, what do you call it, the foam pads, sometimes they uh, fall off, so that's why I back it up with the hot glue. Ooh. 
For some reason, okay. I don't know why my, sorry guys, my chat got frozen there for a second. So I'm gonna add this little bow up here, I think. Now, I'm not forgetting about my little hedgies, okay guys? Just wanna make sure that I'm in frame because I can't tell. I think she should go here, kind of in the, mm, off to the side maybe. See, I can still move this rose because I didn't use the hot glue. So I can add her there, kind of like that. Yep, I think I like that better. So I'm gonna add the little girl hedgy. She's got flowers in her, well, it's not really hair, but in her spiky whatever. <laughs> um, let's see here. I don't know if I wanna add, I guess I don't. I think I'm gonna keep it simple this time around. And add another uh, little bud here, maybe. Yeah, I think I like that. This is just so delicate and darling. I love it. Now, guys, I pulled out, like, trims and everything, thinking that I was going to make this ultra shabby. But I have to say, I don't think it needs it. Um, one thing I did want to do... Before I forget is you know back in the day we used to do decoupage which um, meant that you had to cut all these images and then pop them up just as I'm doing now but we would put a silicone um, cover on it and everything and then you would frame these things and all that that just came to mind. So I just want to double up this bow, even though this wasn't the best printout uh, because this one looks more peach than pink. But I'm going to use it as my little background just to double it up. Just to have a little 3D effect on that. Please let me know if I'm in frame or if you guys can see this okay or not. Um, because I'm just cutting another bow to add to this, okay guys? Yes, a lot of different occasions that you can use this for, you know? Oh, thank you, thank you so much. And you can use these, um, I'm thinking also like if you were to do a baby shower uh, and you wanted to use it as a place setting, then the recipient could take it home, but you could definitely put their name on here on acetate and pop it up. How cute would that be? You know? Okay, so there's my bow that's, you know, this is the washed out one, so let's add some ink to it. I think I put the dauber away already. Yes, I did. All right. So, when in doubt, add more ink. <laughs> Because that can also improve what you're doing, right? So like I said, this got this didn't print out at the highest quality, but I'm going to use it anyway. I'm not going to let it go to waste. So just adding that bit of ink there is going to make it look more shabby. And it looks good to me. So that's going to go right there. And then I'm going to add the second one, of course. like that. I'm going to add hot glue to the little hedgehog because I don't want it to fall off. There. So with the same uh, idea in mind, you can print multiples of the uh, hedgehog and then layer the different features, okay? So that's another great idea. Now here's the little male hedgehog. I don't know if I'm going to use him on this particular card, but he's so cute also. I mean, he could be back here, but I think it's a bit much, so I'm going to leave him out. I'm just going to form, uh, or shape, I should say, I'm thinking in Spanish, shape the uh, bow a little bit. Oh, hi, Wandy. Yes, this paper collection is just too cute. Too stinking cute. All right, so I'm gonna just ink around this one as well. Add a little bit more. 
And this is just a fun, simple project. I mean, nothing complicated, as you guys can tell. All right, so this one I'm going to cut in a little bit more because, again, I'm going to use it to layer on top of that other bow. And I'm going to show you what I mean. Okay, so what I did here is I see the little kind of tails there. I cut into that image a bit more. I did that on purpose because now I'm going to layer it on top of here with my hot glue and give that some more dimension. Okay, I needed to move some things out of the way. All right, so now I'm going to place the glue first. in the largest areas there. And then this does have a fine tip, so I'm just gonna go ahead and add a tiny bit there on the tails, just like that. And I'm going to try to make sure that this is as rounded as I can get it without it looking sloppy, of course. And I'm gonna place a tiny little drop just in the center because I don't want volume in the middle of it necessarily, only on the sides there. And you can tell I didn't necessarily rush either because I want that glue to be a little bit on the cooler side. All right. And I could leave it as such. I'm kind of happy with that, actually. Um, I can add a little more green maybe here to give that some more depth. So you can also pinch, just pinch the edges of that. And there we go, just adding it to the edge here, like that. Yes, you're absolutely right. That little hedgehog just adds that little extra something something, you know. I think it's so stinking cute. Now, this is supposed to uh, fold flat. So here's the uh, perspective if you were to fold it to put it in an envelope. Um, I mean, I think it's great. It folds like that, and then, you know, it sits this way. Now, if you wanted to, you can, on the back of here, before you put it all together, you could stamp a sentiment there, too. So that would be ultra cute. And like I said before, if you were using it as a, um, a placeholder for a baby shower, then here's where you could put the person's name and then the number of the table or anything like that and then hand it to them, and then that way they could find their place to the table by using the, you know, the little keepsake. How fun would that be? Super adorable. And then, of course, um, let's see here. I recently received... I placed an order with Lady Cree here on uh, YouTube. She goes by Fun Creations. And I hauled some of her beads and things like that. And I also got a little tray from her. Now the tray came empty, but what I did is I put some of the items that I ordered from her inside already. And then I got some of these absolutely gorgeous, you know, beads there. And then I also got some uh, sequins and one of these went out in the mail today to uh, share with a friend but you can definitely then doll it up with even more items like I could add this little bow here maybe the pink one let me see or I mean it's a little rose yes that's what's fun about this is it's it is um you know, it's a kind of like a pop-up design, but by all means, it folds flat. Okay, so I'm, I added that little rose there, which I could have added on the hedgie also. I wasn't thinking, but whatever. <laughs> and let's see what else is in here. There were some pearls. 
So we'll get some of those out and add them here and there for another little pop because, um, you know, you've fussy cut these items, so you have some white space sometimes, depending on how you cut it. And that's a great opportunity for a pearl or something shiny to cover up some of that white space. And I don't think I glued that down, so I better do that now. Just gonna add it right there before I forget. All right. Another one over here. And what I like to do, and this is just a design um, kind of staple, is to, um, when you study design, they teach you to triangulate. That's just a fancy word that means create a triangle that no one can see. <laughs> and what that means is in groups of three, if you add items to your project, it's going to look better. It'll, it uses um, visual balance, I guess, is you know the best way to explain it. But so there's three little pearls. And of course, if you like more, you add more. If you like to add a little um, trim here and there, let me see if this will fit. I kind of like adding little snippets sometimes. So I'll just fold this in half. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing here because I forget. Um, so I'm just gonna cut this with the wrong scissors. Wait, <laughs> I'm cutting this in a little uh, diagonal slant, I guess, on the the um, edges of the ribbon or the the ends. Guys, my English today is not so good. <laughs> I'm going to flip this upside down because I want to put it right next to the little hedgehog. She just got married and she has a veil and it's trailing behind her. <laughs> and that's that. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Okay, I'm going to add that with some hot glue right there and just tuck it in however you can with a pokey tool. Just don't burn yourself. Preach into the choir. All right. Just like that. It just adds a little texture there. And it curls up, which I think is cute. But that's about it. That's about as complicated as this video is going to get today, guys. <laughs> um, so if you're looking for beads, guys, I highly recommend you visit my girl, uh, Lucretia. Again, Lady Cree. If you like the papers, these are just absolutely gorgeous. And you see, I have all these left over. So I can go ahead and print out another little envelope. And I still have enough flowers to make another one. Let me zoom out because I'm out of frame. <laughs> um, yes, Wandy, print it out, girlfriend. Don't let it collect um, electronic dust in your computer. <laughs> No, I'm one to talk. I have so many other uh, printables that are just sitting there. Um, and of course, you know, part of the reason was my printer was giving me a hard time. Woo! -hoo! Sorry, guys. I managed to disconnect something here. I don't know why. <laughs> I just got caught on a cord. This is my cord. <laughs> so I'm going unplugged at the moment. Um... And while I'm here, oh, and Wandy, you didn't get to see the other papers I printed, I don't think, because you weren't here. But just a quick recap of the ones I'll be using in my next project, which I still don't know what I'm going to make, but I, I'm sure I'll come up with something, something. Look at how sweet. Five by seven. Um, and then this is just, again, this is only six pages worth. But there's tons more and you can also print them in the A4 size. You can print them as little cards, tags, you name it. I mean, there's so much. Um, but I think, gosh, I was even thinking this would be so stinking cute even inside of a mini album. Why not, right? 
Although give, sending it in the mail is just, I don't know, super duper adorable because then you can write the little sentiment back there. But I wanted to show you some Happy Mail I just got. I was talking about this earlier. Um, so let's open it. Let's see what I got. Because my girl Debbie, Deborah Adams, who's uh, Deborah Adams Creative Life here on YouTube, surprised me. So let me get my sea source. Um, oh, you canceled it. Oh, wonderful. Bon appetit. Buen provecho. Have a nice meal. And yes, absolutely. Take advantage of time with hubby today. And I hope you feel better, Eileen. God bless you. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to share this happy mail. I have no idea what's in here, so we'll find out. Um... But even if, uh, one, even if you only got the last month, only gonna have them printed. Yeah, I, I understand. Even if you only got last month's um, printables, still, I mean, you could make so many projects with only one that you're good, you know? Okay, so, no idea how this box will, okay, here we go. Let's see what Deborah sent. So exciting. It's like Christmas. Ooh, look at that. Oh, no idea. But let's see, let's see. All right, got everything out of that box. The first thing that caught my eye is this. Look how beautiful. So I have these envelopes and I love them. Or I mean, little baggies, I should say. So she put some washi tape here, three purple roses, some trim, and this pink trim also. Um, and then the topper, the bag topper is, is this glittery pink. How stinking cute. So let's see what's inside. Well, actually I should look for a card, shouldn't I? <laughs> I don't know, is there a card? Well, maybe it's in here, who knows. Let's take a peek here. So this is like Fort Knox though, guys. She's got it like sealed. But you know what, let's open this one. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> like squirrel. All right, so it says, just for you, wanted to send you a little belated birthday. Oh, thank you, Debbie. My birthday was the same day as um, as Debbie's. So uh, I entered one of her challenges, in fact. Oh, my gosh. This is so cool. Oh, she did a video on these. Guys, look. It's these butterfly shakers. How gorgeous. Have you guys seen this die? I had not seen it until I saw Debbie share it. I was watching her channel on my TV. So in fact, I don't even know if I left her a comment on her video. So I might have to catch up on that. But um, she added the little flowers in the centers, little gems and pearls. She doubled them up. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. She used glitter paper on that one, script paper, and then this beautiful pattern paper. So adorable. Oh, Linda, you know, it's just paper. <laughs> it's just little green papers. You just hand them to people and then they give you things that make you happy. <laughs> Don't let my husband hear me say that. He'll be like, what? Let me take a sip. I joke around and say I'm gonna have to be buried in all this scrapbooking paper when I'm when I die. They're just gonna have to get a big uh, U-Haul or not a U-Haul dumpster and just start chucking stuff in there because <laughs> I know my family's not gonna want to keep any of it. I have boys, so they couldn't care less. All right, so she wrapped this in this gorgeous little poinsettia with the tiniest little golden beads in the center and glittered that up. And of course, I'm gonna reuse that absolutely stunning so I don't know what's in here but it's wrapped really well Miss Debbie knows how to wrap her stuff me I'm awful at it <laughs> so let's see what's it oh it's a oh cool all right so Linda get out your um your wallet sweetheart 
because <laughs> if you like this poinsettia, this is the dye that makes it. How sweet. And it comes from, you know, abroad. <laughs> it says eight piece set. I think it says maple leaf flower. So according to them, this is a maple leaf, but here in the US, we call this a poinsettia. <laughs> Oh my gosh, absolutely gorgeous. So thank you, thank you, Debbie. If you watch this video, oh my gosh, I am in love already. She sent me a group of, oh, you guys have to see this. This is so cute. How did you package? Oh, okay, okay. I'm the worst when it comes to opening things. Um, she sent me a group of um, embellishments. Oh my gosh. And guys, I just made a 3D envelope. Guess guess what these are? Oh my word. They're little itty bitty, the tiniest little bitty loaded envelopes you've ever seen in your life. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, bye. Uh, Wandy, thank you so much for being here. God bless you, sweetie. Look at that, and this one has a bee. She added little pearls, flowers, the tiniest little key I've ever seen. Oh, so cute. Super shabby and luscious, love that. I'll be using those for sure. She also added, um, I think this might be the card, guys. Look at how gorgeous that is. And I wanna say this is graphic 45 paper. Look at that, she added a little bow up here, or I mean like a rosette that she made, I'm sure, with ribbon. There's this bird image, flowers, and it says botanical tea. That's probably the name of the collection. It says, hello friend, thinking of you. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. It's a gatefold, oh, it's magnetized. Ooh, wow, 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 wow. Okay, let me move these so you guys can see this. It's a gatefold style card. I'm gonna move this out of the way. It says a cup of tea warms the soul like a, go like a good friend. Look at how gorgeous that is. And guess what guys, look at this. The little tags come out. Oh, see this is what I mean, handmade. There's nothing better. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. A little pocket there, there's a nest, tags. I mean, she went all out. Little butterfly down here. She fussy cut all of this and added it to the base. A hummingbird, which is one of my favorite birds. Gorgeous. Oh my, God. and I love the shape that she used. She must have um, used a, um, I'm sorry, a, maybe a graphic 45 tag, I don't know. But I'm loving that. So I'm gonna read this off camera here. Uh, Oh, <laughs> she's blaming me for getting hooked on Tonic Studios also. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. <laughs> Super adorable. So sorry, guys. I just had to take a moment to read that. So I absolutely adore that. All right. So there's this also. And then, <gasps> oh my gosh, it's a little teacup. It says tea party and it has the little stamps. So she used the same collection as she did for the card. Made a 3D little cup. Look at this. Oh, chinoiserie, I believe is the name of that, that type of pattern. Oh my gosh. With um, lace, pearls, and inside she added this trim. Let's see, did she stitch that? Oh, so it's kind of like this antique trim here and more little embellishments. Oh my goodness, look at that. They're the little rosettes like the one she used on, um, where was it? On the card. Yeah, only these have more flowers. Oh, this is so stunning. And all glimmery and everything. Bye, Linda. Yes. <laughs> I know. Look at this one. She put a Renee Bouquet butterfly in there. I recognize those little bitty butterflies because they're so gorgeous. Absolutely adorable. Super shabby. 
So this is gonna stay in here actually because I'm going to put this on my shelf where I display all of the goodies that all of my friends send me. And then I can use, of course, the, the little embellishments. I'll put them in there for now. And then last but not least, she sent um, this, you know what, I'm just gonna take off the washi because I know y'all gotta go too. So I can end the video. Um, oh, this is so thoughtful. Let's see what's in here. Ooh, what's that? It says Couture, the Enchanted Escapes Collection. Five templates. Ooh, these are dies? What? Get out. Create, oh, from Create and Craft. Ooh, la la, what's in here? Oh my gosh, guys, look at this. Whoa, that's huge. This is so beautiful. So it's a set of dies and it looks like a candelabra. I don't know if I'm just making that up in my head, but I think that's what it is. And then there's this piece. Ooh. And one more. Oh my gosh, this is stunning. So it is called the Enchanted Escapes Collection. That's the cover, in case you're interested. And I'm pretty sure this is an image of how it's gonna look when it cuts out. But absolutely generous, stunning, beautiful. I will definitely be using that. You know that I will on my mini albums or cards. I think it goes like that. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. So I just wanna say a huge thank you to all of you. Thank you to Debbie. Thank you to you guys for being here. Uh, to Chris Ann for designing such gorgeous product. To Lady Cree for her uh, beads and all that good stuff. Guys, this crafty community is just, you know, the, the beauty is endless. I know that I enjoy it thoroughly. It definitely is a pick me up for me on the days where. Um, you know, I'm in too much pain to think. <laughs> I love coming around and just sharing the things that I love because, you know, um, God's put it on my heart to share the things that he's so generously blessed me with. And that's the reason I come on YouTube, just to share that with you guys, to inspire you to just take out whatever you have at home, use it. Um, and as I always say, be encouraged and be blessed. And I want to say thank you for being here with me today. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. And if you need prayer, reach out to me. If you just need someone to speak to, I'm here. Paintsandglitter at gmail.com. Okay, guys? Don't hesitate to do so. And I love you and thank you for being here. Ciao, ciao. Now to reach over and see how to turn this off, as always, because I can't reach. Bye.